Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got another player home here today. This is the Doc Mitchell player home. So this house has been designed to look like Doc Mitchell's house from Fallout New Vegas. Obviously, it's, you know, super famous. Everybody's been there if you played Fallout New Vegas because you start in that house. You wake up in that house. Doc Mitchell hands you the mirror. He's all like, hey, yo, hopefully my head's not spinning today because, like, obviously, he's I've seen him have that issue before. But he also hands you the mirror. You're like, you make your character big o -matic and all that stuff. So this house has been redesigned to look like that we'll see how much it is accurate to what my memory of Fallout new vegas is like but first and foremost let's explain where this house is so concord right here red rocket truck stop so this is like the entrance to concord there's the red rocket right there so normally you probably come down for the red rocket as you start the game go meet dog meat and then you come straight down the road there but you can go this sideway here down this road as you see here instead of like coming straight down into concord you know, helping out Preston and all that stuff. You come over here to this side, and then you go up this little side path here. I'm not sure if this little side path was here before, but we're going to take a look at it kind of like live and raw. Like, I'm just kind of, this is my first impressions of the thing as I'm reviewing it. This is a restricted area to keep out. Doesn't, not even lock though. The gate's open. So this is Doc Mitchell's house in Fallout 4. Now, it's a little bit different, obviously. This is kind of a nice looking effect. I do like this look of this player home. Um, got some corn growing out here, which is cool. If you want to harvest some corn. Let's take a look a, bit, a little bit around the outside of the house. Obviously, it's a little bit different as it is anyway. Um, it is labeled as a Doc Mitchell player home. It obviously is there on the map too, so you can fast travel here as well. There's a door here. Is that the, supposed to be like the front door? There's another path up to it here, it looks like, which is kind of cool. It's got like its own little like woodlandly foresty area. Obviously, Doc Mitchell's house in uh, New Vegas was very much in the desert. This is a lot more foresty than that, but it is a cool look, and you can climb up on the roof there, which is kind of a cool. A lot of trees around here, right? It's got its own little vibe to it. It's a nice section. It's obviously not the exact same, but obviously we'll let's see what it looks like when we get inside. So this is supposed to be Doc Mitchell's house. Is it the back door? We'll open it up. We'll see what it looks like on the inside, right? So that's definitely the back door, right? So this is like, I mean, there's no furniture in here, which looks kind of weird, right? Like that's definitely kind of a weird vibe to me is that like, I'm trying to like, there's rooms here that I definitely recognize the layout of this house. You robbed the shit out. I mean, these counters are at least supposed to be there. And the bathroom is here. The bathtub is not in that good of shape in Doc Mitchell's regular house. I remember that. But yeah, like I remember vaguely some of these rooms. So like this would be the entrance here. Yes. Yeah. So like this is like where he has like the chemistry benches right here. Right? There's a chemistry bench right here where you can craft stuff. There's like glasses right here. This is where you wake up from the bed literally right here. And then Doc Mitchell's facing you right here. The Vigomatic would be right here then. This would be the front door you get out to leave. And then if you come over here, this would be where his couch is at, where you sit and you take the little questionnaire. What does the picture mean? And then you're like, oh, I don't know, man. Maybe it's fucking nuclear bombs. And then he's like, maybe you're a psychopath. And then you move on with your life. Um, it does look nice, though. This is, I mean, the wood textures here are nice, all right? I just feel a little framey in here, though. I don't know why that would be. It's a little bit weird. Um, but yeah, so obviously this is not designed to look interiorly like Doc Mitchell's house. The layout is the same, though. I could definitely tell how this is to work. What you do here, though, is you go over to this fuse box. You activate it. You can turn off the lights, I guess. I don't know. I guess there's just no power. It doesn't turn off the lights. But if you go to this here, this little intercom here is the workshop. So you can technically build your own furniture. And then you can go in here and make your bed. It is a little framey. I don't have any, you know, resources in here right now. So it's not like it doesn't come with anything. Obviously you'd have to come bring your own stuff in here, but it's own separate it's like its own separate workshop. It does function like a workshop, I imagine then. If I hold select, that, does that work? It does. Once you've clicked on the button, you've interacted with the workshop. Now you can build the things in here whenever you want. Now I don't have anything here to build with, but you could build beds. You could do all these setups and stuff here. I wonder if you could send settlers here, if they'd come even inside. I see also some stuff like you could scrap some stuff. That's probably because I have a mod that lets me scrap things. I'm not messing with around too much. But yeah, I mean, it's not like a super advanced player home. I've seen ones definitely that come with more stuff, right? Like that's got to be the front door then, right? That's the front door. That's the one we went into first. So we come we come into the back here. Is this is the back way? You do have some corn growing out here. That's interesting. Um, I don't think Doc did Doc Mitchell have corn growing in his backyard. I don't remember even going around the back of Doc Mitchell's house. So like, I don't remember any of that. The house does look nice though. It definitely I like the whole vibe of the area and stuff too. How overgrown it is. Like this house has been here along. Obviously this is obviously not Doc Mitchell's house. Doc Mitchell's in, you know. 
New Vegas, as events of this are occurring still. He didn't come all the way out to the Commonwealth. There's no way his old ass made it there um, and just built a brand new house that's exactly the same as his old house. Um, there's no workshopping out here, though. Like, this is not part of the workshop. It's all interior and only in its design, right? So, like, I'm trying to, you know, open the workshop. This doesn't work. So, it's a nice home, though. Like, you got a nice little view here, too. Like, you can get up on some of these rocks. It's a nice location. It's not super centralized in the map. Obviously, we're real close to Sanctuary as it is. Red Rock is its own settlement. It's not like a convenient settlement for being a settlement, right? Like there's other places where you could get to that probably be more beneficial to, to have a settlement at in terms of like survival mode and stuff like that where you really want to have a place to take a rest. Um, but it is a nice look. You can see pretty far. You got a nice little cliffside view. The house, I believe itself, looks nice. It does make me feel framey though. Like I'm right here and like this turn, this is all fine. But I get like a little bit, yeah, like I just get choppy in here. Um, but yeah, obviously I'm not going to customize anything inside the house because I'm awful at it. I really am. I'm really just like the most catastrophically incompetent person. But I remember here, there's like a little bench here. There's like a med kit there, right? And then you can go back in here. I like rob them all the stuff. There's a bathroom in here. Usually there's like a stim pack, like a little med pack thing on the wall. This would be his room. There's nothing important in this room, I remember right, right? Like, and then this is where you wake up. I mean, like, I, I like vaguely. Where's the, the room you wake up in is over here. You wake up right here in this bed. It's not actually here, but I remember this, okay? You wake up right here. Doc Mitchell's facing you right here. You go over to the Vigomatic. It's right here. You talk to the Vigomatic. You go sit on this couch. He's like, what does this look like? And you're like, bears. And he's like, you're kind of a psychopath. And then you're like, all right, well, I'm just going to change my stats to whatever I want anyway. Um, but yeah, so like, Technic and then you go out this door would be the front door, right? And that's but that's that's the one that's kind of like it depends on how you think about the perspective of this place. But like, yeah, this is our front door. Let's look down this path here. There's some broken down cars and stuff, but there's like a nice little path road that leads up to it too. I feel like that's all nice. It doesn't really. I mean, like I'm trying to think about it in a way how it looks. Like Doc Mitchell's house is obviously is on a hill, um, but it's not like so overgrown and covered where you can't see it so well. But it is nicely out of the way. I don't think you're gonna really deal with like too much stuff like fucking with you if you were like to fast travel here or you know be here outside of it like you're not like there's no you know enemy spawning right here it's a nice looking player home you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below are you going to try to live in doc mitchell's house are you going to make some cool customization in there i'm not good at any of that at all like none of it so i don't want to hear about how oh, i do want to hear how you make it cool but i don't want to hear any judgments though i'm just not one of those people that likes building things that's like the my the least favorite part about survival games i like the surviving part not the building part um the rebuilding someone else can do i like the, the surviving part it's a nice player home though it is well designed obviously it, doc mitchell's house is like good feng shui i guess but you can make whatever you want in there and i like the, the outside look of the, the appearance of the house it's all nice too it is quite large though this mod is like 80 megabytes which is pretty big for a player home um considering i've covered a lot of them in my time it's not the biggest i've ever seen but Especially considering the fact that it is empty on the outside, but you do get a lot of outside decoration here And then obviously you can do whatever you want with the inside of it um, Which is cool too like and you got two entrances slash, you know a back exit here You can make some cool stuff here for sure I do like that it's already kind of lit on the interior at least because I would really bad at stringing up lights But it is a nice house. This is nice. It's really well lit. It's nice It's nice looking and you can make you know just a bed in here and be like oh I sleep here But you can make you know a workbench room if you want to whatever you want to do You could be like oh this is my workbench room. I'm gonna you know do whatever come up with your own plan Show me some cool looking stuff like send me like a screenshot or something and I, I will definitely take a look at that but yeah, if you guys want to check out this mod for yourselves, make sure to check out the top link in the description. There'll be linked there to the Bethesda on that page or the Nexus mod page. You can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys want to check out this mod, I already said that part, didn't I? I think so. You should just say, hey, like the video because you enjoy the content so much. And I do appreciate it if you do. If you don't like the content, dislike the video. It doesn't really bother me. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so that we can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.